Here are some nifty little tricks in Maya. Our first video is all about the viewport. Knowing the viewport controls allows for a smooth workflow. With the hotkey A you zoom in so that all objects should be visible, except hidden objects. With the hotkey F you can zoom in on a selected object or component. How close the camera moves can be defined in the settings. The camera movements have their own undo queue. The square brackets stand for undo and redo the camera movements. However, the square brackets do not work on some international keyboards like my German keyboard. In this case you have to define your own hotkeys or switch to a US layout. You can also include each camera individually in the general undo queue. A camera animation to a new viewpoint can be set for different operations in the preferences. Sometimes all objects disappear when zooming. This could be related to camera clipping. Everything that is closer than the near clipping and further away than the far clipping is no longer displayed. Do not set the far clipping too large, otherwise very small details will be displayed inaccurately. To zoom in on certain regions you can hold CTRL and ALT and drag a frame with the left mouse button. If you drag the frame from the bottom it will zoom out. There's also a function look at selected which keeps the camera position and only rotates the camera. With center view of selection the camera is only moved but not rotated. These functions are not yet available as a hotkey, so you can set your own. With Alt-P you can toggle the camera between perspective and orthogonal. However, the orthogonal camera cannot be tumbled by default, but you can set this in the Tumble Tool settings. In these settings you can also set a factor for the speed of the tool for smoother or faster rotation. With Alt-B you can change the color of the background. Four different settings are possible via black, dark gray, light gray and gradient. Home returns the camera to the default position. 